It's Sunday, and it's time for my mental health vlog. And it has been another, another week. And, um, I am doing the best I can to keep it together and just stay focused with everything that's going on. Um, my boyfriend had a surgery, his emergency surgery on Monday, and he's up and walking, and he is um, using a cane right now, and he is uh, starting to get feeling back and mobility back in his leg, so very excited, very optimistic about that. And bless his heart, he has just been trying to help me with the house and stuff as much as he possibly can. He's in a back brace, he's in a cane, and he's still helping me with the house and Katie. Which makes it frustrating when there's other people that should be helping and that are not there. With a laundry list of excuses. I'm trying really hard not to hold on to anger about the house and Katie and the condition it was left in and the work that I'm now having to do to get it ready to sell. But, and the reason I'm, I'm trying really hard not to hold on to anger is I keep remembering a phase that I, a phrase that I heard and it stuck with me. So hopefully it'll help you as well. Um, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Because that's all it really does is holding on to that anger is just it's just it's, just, it's tearing you up inside. It'll tear you up inside to hold on to it. Hold a grudge, hold anger. And I don't I don't have the energy for that. So I don't have energy for a lot of things right now. I'm I'm feeling very, very drained. I had to shut down my Etsy shop just because I needed to focus on so many other things in the upcoming month, and I just didn't want to deal with any orders coming in. The money would have been nice, but I just, just one more thing I needed to, to, to not deal with. Um, a lot going on, a lot happening, a lot, a lot moving. Um, next weekend, we've got three moves. Um, moving my boyfriend from his house, moving my boyfriend from the storage unit, and then we are moving some items from the Katie house that we want to, we want to take with us. So we went to the U-Haul to pick up some stuff from there. Um, worked on the house today, just like we have been every weekend and every free moment. Um, there's still, the, the water's still not on in the house, which makes it difficult and challenging. And um, that was something I was told would be taken care of multiple times and it hasn't been yet I know he's busy but the house has to be taken care of and it's frustrating but uh, my boyfriend's parents actually came to the house today and um, my boyfriend's mom helped me go through stuff and set up some stuff for the garage sale we're going to have in a couple of weeks and uh, my boyfriend's dad helped uh, patch up some holes in the garage that were in the drywall and there's a, a piece of flooring that needs to be replaced and he's going to help with that. We had the wrong piece so we couldn't do it today. We had to go exchange the piece. Um, but he's helping with that and he's going to help stain some spots on the hardwood floor where like the rolling chairs have, have you know faded it down and then we've got some stair rails that uh, the poles and the rails, I don't know what they're called. But those um, had some dog damage that needed to be replaced. So he's going to help us with that too. And I, I, I told them I just, I, I can't, I'm so grateful that they think enough of me to come and do stuff at, at the house that they actually have no involvement or, or, or interest in. But they're there helping me and that, that's huge for me. That really is. Because they said that um, if your family was here, they'd be helping you. And I said, yes. And they said, well, we're not any different. So that was huge. I said, if my family was here, they'd probably be trying to kill someone. But 
having having them to help was was great. I had a little bit of a breakdown at the house today, just where I'm tired of being there. I'm so ready to move on and just having to spend every weekend in this house purging and moving and packing and going through stuff and packing stuff that's not even mine. It's just been... It's been very emotionally draining. And as I talked about last week, and I talked about with my therapist this week, my self-care has gone to shit. I did recolor my hair this week. It's not perfect, but it's fun and it's colorful and it faded a little bit in the shower, but it's fun. Makes me happy. Coloring my hair is part of my self-care. We were actually driving down to the house this morning and my boyfriend said, when it's time for lunch, we're going to Taco Bueno. Because I know how much you like those. And tacos are self-care. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm like, that's really funny. And that's really accurate. And because I do like the tacos from Taco Bueno. So he went today and picked us all up some lunch at Taco Bueno while we were working on stuff. So that was, that was really nice. Um, picked up my son on Friday night from Taekwondo. And he, you know, we just, we had, he wanted pepperoni and mozzarella stuffed crust pizza from Little Caesar. So fine. Picked that up on the way home. Had pizza. Watched, um, I want to say we watched a movie. No, we watched a movie on Saturday. Because Saturday he woke up and he was not feeling very good. And he was sniffly and he was coughing and he had a little bit of a fever. And so I let him stay in his pajamas all day. And we sat on the couch and we watched way too many YouTube videos on stuff I don't understand. Game stuff for kids. Watched way too many YouTube videos about that. And then we watched a movie. Um, Vivo on Netflix, which is really cute. And it's Lin-Manuel Miranda. I did not know that until I heard his voice. I'm like, wait a minute. This sounds familiar. Um, good movie. Good cast. On Netflix. Worth checking out. Um, I'm just kind of at my limit right now. I want to be done with the house. I want things done that I'm told are going to be done. I feel like this is some sort of penance. Me having to take care of the house right now. Me having to do things that someone else can't do or won't do. Just because I know it has to get done. And they know it has to get done. But they know I'll do it. If they ignore it long enough. Very familiar pattern. If I ignore it, someone else will do it. Oh, we did find out um, because my ex was super concerned about my son sniffling and coughing. We did get a, a, a COVID test and it turned out it was not COVID. So another thing I'm stressed out about is the fact that his school, which is, you know, it's a charter school, so it's smaller than a lot of public schools. Um, but they've already had four students and one teacher test positive for COVID. And, you know, my son is too young to be vaccinated, so it scares the crap out of me. It really does. I When he first started coughing, the logical part of my brain knew that it, it was not COVID. There were no symptoms that associated it with COVID other than the little cough. But the the unrealistic side of my brain, which is very active right now, was, was just freaking out. Because what if? Which is not something I usually live in. I don't usually live in the what if. But the what if got me. And um, I did not handle that well. Because the thought of anything happening to your child. I mean, that's not something you can come back from. And you can, but I'm not sure that's something I can come back from. I don't know. 
but not COVID. So today we're okay. I'm tired. I'm stressed. I had therapy on Wednesday and my, I just letting my therapist know everything that's been going on. And she just stared at me with these wide open eyes. Like, I don't think I let her get a word in edgewise. I just, it was just information diarrhea out of the mouth. It was just, everything came out, everything exploded. Um, what else happened this week? Oh, my boyfriend and I had a really big fight on Monday over something stupid. He wasn't taking care of himself or doing something he was supposed to be doing. And he was getting upset over something that we didn't have enough information on to be upset about. And I was mad because that was the day he had surgery. And I'm like, you need to just fucking relax. But it was an argument. And we took a few minutes to be apart. And then we, we talked about it. And it was a, a good heart to heart talk. I feel like um, this is his first time moving in with a boyfriend. And everything that's been going on, I just feel like I've, I've sucked all the joy out of this for him. And he's told me that I haven't. But we have talked about it, that we're not feeling as joyous as we expected to be with this big step in our relationship. So we've decided to just try and find joy in the little moments that we can. So Wednesday, we're actually going to walk into the place for the first time um, together with our keys. So just a little thing that we have. And I'm pretty excited about that. Although I did buy him something that was to commemorate the moment. And it came yesterday in the mail. I'm like, oh, thank God it came in time. It's wrong. I'm not happy. But what can I do? I let the shop owner know that it's wrong and I just asked him how soon they could get it fixed. Alright. Wish I had better stuff going on. I wish I had happier news. I wish I had great tips and tricks for making it through a really shitty time. But the only thing I can tell you and what I've had to hold on to is just make it one day at a time. I have to be okay today. That's all I have to do. I have to be okay today. Tomorrow's another problem. Today, I have to be okay. And that's where my focus is right now. Get it done. Today, I have to be okay. Check on your friends. Tell them you love them. Or hi. Maybe don't love them. I don't know. Check on them, though. Make sure they're doing okay. Check on your loved ones and your family. Make sure they're doing okay. Check on yourself. Acknowledge that it's okay not to be okay. But it's not okay to stay not okay. So do the work you need to do to get yourself moving further along. And sometimes you just have to shut things off and do what you need to do. And then deal with the emotions best advice I can give you and that's not professional advice that's just coming from my experience all right guys only a couple more weeks of dealing with this house so hopefully my vlogs get happier as the month goes on we shall see all right guys I will check in with y'all later bye